Shalom, my dear friends. I'm here with the intro and Erev Rosh Chodesh. And Erev Rosh Chodesh in Israel is, in a very, is a very exciting time. All the religious people, and even those non-religious, are hitting the roads, and they're going to the, not all, a good amount of people are going to the Kibre Tzadikim, the graves of our sages, and they're praying. Why is this? Because the Kabbalah teaches us that the day before Rosh Chodesh is a time in which the Tzadikim, who were Niftar, are at their graves. They're normally, there's one sixtieth of person of every person um, of their soul connected to their body in the grave. And on this day of Erev Rosh Chodesh, the day before the new month, the new Jewish month, they are coming down in a stronger amount, their soul. And they're literally there. This is a great time to pray, to have your prayers answered with the koach, with the zechus of these great sages and rabbis. So, living in a place like Sfat, where we're surrounded by many, many tzaddikim and graves, this is a time where a lot of people are traveling to our area and they're going around to pray. And it's, 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 an, it's not just a, a time of, uh, of just uh, seriousness. It's, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like an enjoyable time. It's a fun time. People are smiling. They're happy. People are hi- hitchhiking to go to the graves to go to Moran, to the Holy Sagi of Shem Reichai, to go to the Arizal, because by the Arizal it was a full house, a lot of people. And so now is a great time to pray. Great time. And I was learning in the Talmud that when the base of Migdash was destroyed, destroyed the co-op, the strength of prayer and its ability to go through the gates and be accepted was diminished and the gates were closed. But the gates of prayer are always open to a person that cries with tears. If their prayer takes on a more wholeheartedness and sincerity and they cry and they're broken hearted, then their prayer is accepted. So this is a very important thing to pray with true understanding with all your heart and to open those gates through prayer and through praying for the Shina, pray for Klai Yisrael, for the Holy Nation. When you pray for someone else, the Talmud says you'll be answered as well. And Hashem answer all the prayers of His people. Did 